ಅಡಿ ಹಿಂಡದ and this guy is trying to access then i'm getting a message rpc program not registered now i'm not saying like that i i will repeat it again this is a server where something is shared so this guy is accessing no problem right but i'm going to another server i am trying to access a share access something from there from that server and it's saying program not registered why why in this case it's saying program not registered because because what because there should be a service running for you to share <clears throat> if i have to share something there should be a service right okay you can't tell that to another machine why the telnet no, service is not running not you can't you answer those questions but why you didn't answer this so basically that is the service is not running that service is not running ಸರ್ವಿಸ್ so if it, if it is not happening then this will not happen but to start that service in solaris 9 there are certain conditions right there's a file called etc dfs dfs tab we'll talk about that that file has should have a valid entry right we'll talk about that later so all those problems you will understand oh this is because of those problems right then you will recollect so we'll talk about that but now our problem is i want to introduce something called rpc Okay. So the first the service RPC has to be up only then NFS works. No, no, not RPC. RPC is up by default in run level 2 in Solaris okay. and in, uh, in multi-user level in uh, Solaris 10, right? Solaris 9, run level 2. RPC will be always running, right? right. Yeah. Uh, RPC, right? When it starts, it has an assistant called RPC bind. Okay. Have you heard about RPC bind? RPC will start a daemon. RPC, when it starts in run level 2 in Solaris, and what is the level in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Solaris 10, it will start RPC bind. Network is very interesting, okay? And most of your problems will come in network, right? <laughs> That's why you are sitting in your room. People are saying, I can't access, it's slow, like that, right? So if they, anybody say, RPC program is not register when I try to access the share, immediately you know, what is the reason? No, no, service not started. Why are you service not started, right? Then you will know how to troubleshoot. Okay, so RPC, all, all the services ask for a daemon to do their <coughs> job, right? All the services are like that. Daemon starts and daemon only does the work, but the service will get good name, right? Okay. This guy will check the file, RPC. When you open RPC, what do you see? Anybody have access to the server now? Yeah, open RPC, what do you see? There's a lot. Yeah, but what, what, are, what are the heading items? You get port numbers. That's port number, okay. You get port numbers there? Well, no, I think SVC, um... No, 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 I'm talking about... No, 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 cat etc. Okay. This is the file I asked you to open, huh? etc rpc. What do you see there? IP route 1120, NA, IP route row, LA, FNMP, You will see the services and the program number. Program number, okay. 
you see some services and the pro if, if, if all the all the programs I have a program numbers right you see some program numbers and programs right now you open another file called etc services what do you see there port number in there you will see the port number and the protocol right so every protocol has a port number right why do we have port numbers? You have heard about port numbers. What is the port number for SSH? Telnet. Uh, FTP? 21. Uh, some port numbers you have to know, right? DNS, FTP, uh, DFTP, DFTP not necessary. FTP you should know. Uh, SSH you should know. Telnet you should know. About 5, 6 port numbers you should know, right? Because you may be using very often. Okay. In most of them, we use it. Most people don't know 80. Oh, my name. 80 is also important. That is for your. Then 8080 is. 8080 is? Port 80. He's talking about port 80. 8080. He's using every day. No, no, she's asking what is 8080. I don't know. Port 80. Okay. Okay. So what is inside ADC services? We have different port numbers. And then we have the services, right? So you, you, you can find out from there what is the number for uh, uh, Telnet and tell me from there. You found 23 for Telnet? Did you? Raymond? You found it yeah, right? 23. In that file, what, what does it say for Telnet? What is the port number? 23. And what is the protocol it is using? Gaiman it is using? Telnet. No, no, check the, the whether you're using UDP or TCP. 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 TCP, right? Telnet is connection oriented or connectionless? Telnet is connection Connect oriented. Then why is using TCP? TCP means connection oriented. Okay, check TFTP. What is the port number for TFTP? Correct TFTP from there. Yeah. So, what is the is it a TCP or UDP? UDP. UDP. Yeah. UDP means connectionless or connection oriented. Connectionless. Connectionless. What is the difference between connectionless and connection oriented? No guarantee. Yeah. Connection oriented will almost like guarantee your delivery, right? Connectionless. Try my best type of delivery. Okay. And lot of overhead on connection oriented. If you want to send a large, if you want to send a big chunk of data, you use connectionless or connection oriented? Connection oriented. Connection -oriented. Otherwise, it has to be broken into segments and you may lose some segments and your data cannot be assembled on the receiving side, right? So you like to send it by registered post, something like TCP, right? How many uh, communication, three-way communication, you know that, right? You say hello, you will say hello and identify it, and you start the three-way communication in TCP. So UDP is less overhead. So if you want to send small packets, UDP is okay. Right? Because sequencing is done in TCP. Because when I'm sending packets, uh, I won't send all the segments when I'm sending. I won't send all the segments in the correct order. I may send segment 5, segment 10, segment 2, segment 3. The receiving side should assemble it in the right order. TCP can do that. right? That's another reason we select TCP for that purpose. Okay, so now we come to RPC. Somebody is coming and asking me for one service. Who is asking in this example? For this server, who is asking huh. service? This guy. What service is asking? Uh, file. File. Uh, file sharing service. Sharing. We assume file sharing service. Right? And this guy, what action he will take now? Now, how, how will this guy know? Uh, my, my request is related to NFS. How, how will this guy know that? 
the gate. By the gate? Or the fort. Fort, yeah. If, if I'm telling here, how will this guy know that somebody is telling to me? Because of the port. Because of the port. So now you know why we are using port. It is direct to us. Yeah. So because this computer doesn't know, uh, oh, what is in numbers? What is uh, Telnet? What is uh, SAP? New, new application. How do I know the port number? Uh, how can I teach? Sorry, how do I know the application? How can I teach the server? Uh, this is SAP, this is Oracle, like that. I cannot, right? So I have, I have to give a port number and I have to tell this machine if anybody knock on that door, that port number, then that is that guy. Okay? So how will I tell that? By updating this file. You understand that, right? You understand that. Okay. So now this is my NFS server. My 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 server. Yes, sir. So I have different ports: 23, 22, uh, 21, uh, 69, like that. Different ports I have. Okay. What is the port number for DNS? Find out from that file. 53. 53. So 53. DNS port also important. Right? So I have different ports here. Now, this is another, this is a server, a client actually, client. It can be a server also, but for this purpose, that is a client, right? This guy is coming and knocking on 23. He is knocking on port number 23. Right? For this example, I don't have to use RPC for this example. I, I just took uh, Telnet and other things as examples, right? But for this purpose, I don't have to use RPC, right? We will use RPC in a few minutes later. First, I am using without RPC. This is without RPC, okay? So, the, he is coming and knocking on this port. So, now, is Telnet payment running here? 